is Sophie, and today I will do a book review on the book *The Witches* by Roald Dahl. Now I remember it was Halloween very recently, and that's why I chose to do a book review on this book, *The Witches*. Now this book, I learned a lot of things. For one, don't think that just because a woman is having a big wart on her face and is, has a big black hat on her head and is carrying a broomstick means she's a witch. That might be because in stories like fairy tales or when you dress up for Halloween, but not in this book. It turns out witches, women, can be hiding anywhere, and there are some tips. One thing. Witches do not like children's smell. They say children smell like fresh dogs' droppings. Pew! I don't think I smell bad. I just had a shampoo. But no matter how many perfumes you put on, or any time you shampoo your hair, a child's smell will always smell like fresh dogs dropping to a witch. So if you see a woman looking right at you and holding her nose, she might be a witch. Another thing is that all witches are bald. Okay, she's bald. That's easy. All I have to do is look for a woman who's holding her nose, looking at me, and is bald. Easy peasy, love and squeezy. Wrong, as wrong as wrong can be. Because don't you think a witch wouldn't want to see her in her baldness? She would want to have a first-class wig. As in the time that this book was written, most women had beautiful hair, and they were proud of it. And some of them even curl them into beehives, but that's not the point. The point is, is that a witch will always wear a wig, so you can't see a bald her, bald woman. And this wig itches her a lot. So maybe if not, someone's not looking carefully, you might not notice her going scratch scratch under there. So if you look carefully, and if a woman's looking right at you, holding her nose and scratching away at her head, she might be a witch. Another thing is that a woman has—I mean, not a woman—a witch has claws. Okay, that's not as easy as looking at a bald woman, but a woman with claws should be easy to find. Nope, you're wrong. Because guess what? She's gonna wear gloves. After all, a lot of respectable women wear gloves, especially in the winter. I wear mittens. She probably won't wear mittens like little kids do, but she will definitely wear something to cover up her claws. So that will be extremely hard to find. Like claws, unless if she has extremely long fingernails that go poking through there. But still, you won't find that very often in women. Claws. But anyway, if you see a woman holding her nose while looking right at you, scratching furiously on her scalp. And also, she's wearing gloves. She might be a witch, but that's not guaranteed. Anyways, I learned from this book that you should never eat anything from strangers. You should never take anything from strangers either, no matter if they're nice or not, or just smiling at you and giving you your favorite candy, because you never know who's there or who they are. Because strangers are strangers, and my mom always tells me, "Don't talk to strangers." And I think she's right because in this book, several kids have been taken away and never been seen again because they took something from a strange woman and went away with them. How scary is that? And now this little boy over here finds out what the witches are plotting. The main character is a boy, but he doesn't have a name for some reason. I'm just going to call him Boy for now. Now this boy finds out that witches. Have come up with all kinds of plans to get rid of children, and guess what? Sometimes they turn children into hot dogs, slugs, and even mice. If you're a mouse, people will most likely try to set up traps to catch you, and you might end up dead. And the witches want you dead, and we do not want ourselves dead, do we? Nope, I don't want myself dead. But I repeat again: never take anything from strangers, no matter how nice they look. Even if she looks like a kind of woman, you might not know what's underneath her face. So be careful every time you go and see a strange woman, a strange man, or any strange person. I recommend you to read this book if you like scary stories and a bit of funny stories too. Thank you for watching. Bye.